Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. His Royal Highness, the Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today, met with the U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Justin Sibral, and the U.S. Fifth Fleet Commander, Vice Admiral John Aquilino at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, the Deputy King highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and the U.S., which are based on trust, mutual respect, and shared principles and values. His Royal Highness discussed with Ambassador Sibral and Vice Admiral Aquilino regional and international issues highlighting that strengthening collaboration is crucial to effectively countering extremism and terrorism across the region. His Royal Highness also discussed Bahrain's role in providing strategic support to the U.S. and boosting international counterterrorism efforts. He recognized the role of the U.S. Fifth Fleet in strengthening regional security. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Ghadaybiya Palace a number of state officials, members of the parliament, business people, journalists, media figures and citizens. His Royal Highness expressed admiration of the sacrifices of the people of Bahrain and their historic stances that protected the kingdom against dangers. He noted the importance of prioritizing development, adding that it should be paralleled by political development to achieve stability in a secure environment that provides citizens with all the necessary elements of a decent life. The Premier affirmed that the Kingdom is marching steadily towards prosperity and achieving the goals of development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in a society characterized by unity and cohesion. His Royal Highness praised the solidarity of society showcased during national celebrations. He noted the moderation of the Bahraini community and its keenness on preserving its heritage and traditions. The Prime Minister added that Bahraini citizens have proven their abilities in the political, economic, media and commercial fields, highlighting the support of the government to the people. His Royal Highness also praised the role of the Representatives Council's members in discussing affairs of interest to citizens. He also highlighted the enlightening role of the national press.
The Shura Council Speaker Ali bin Saleh al Saleh chaired the Council's meeting in which the Council ratified the previous meeting's minutes. The Council approved a draft law ratifying the amended protocol of an agreement between the Bahraini and Philippine governments on avoiding double taxation and preventing tax evasions with taxes of income and capital. The Council approved a draft law of adding Article 6 to Decree Law 1 of 1996 on electricity and water accompanying Decree 29 of 2015. The Council also approved a draft law amending Article 4 of the Law 28 of 2016 on Future Generations Reserve. Within the project to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain as a tourist destination for the meeting and conference industry supported by Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, the authority has attracted the Indian, Sugal and Damani group, known in the information technology industry, to hold its annual meeting from December 22nd until December 24th in the Kingdom and the presence of senior executives and their families. The Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, attended the ceremony and hailed the group's choice to hold this conference in Bahrain, expressing his aspirations to hosting more of these events that contribute to make Bahrain the leading destination for conferences. He added that the authority's 2016-2018 strategy is to promote Bahrain as a destination to host conferences and weddings, as the sector highlights Bahrain's assets. Uh, we basically, from Sugal and the Mani group, we, every year we have an, our annual meet of families in, uh, some destination and from last three four years we are always going to international destination this time after a lot of persuasion from our consultants we have decided to come to Bahrain and it was really a great surprise to when we arrived here right from the airport to the destination of our our council meeting which is Ritz Carlton we find it extremely extremely good extremely there uh, there, there are a lot of uh, in terms of welcoming, we, 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 we don't have any words to express and we are extremely happy to choose this destination. We never imagined about it. Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,285.88 points, marking an increase of 4.78 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, with 73% of total shares. 135 transactions included 7,659,612 shares, worth 1,804,958 Bahrain dinars. The Chemical Industries Company, GPIC, organized a ceremony to celebrate its 38th anniversary. The event at the Ritz Carlton Bahrain Hotel and Spa was held under the patronage of National Oil and Gas Authority Secretary General and Company Chairman His Excellency Dr. Ahmed al Sharian. Members of the Board of Directors and the management, led by its President Dr. Abdul Rahman al Jawahiri, representatives of the company's labor union, employees, and retirees were present during the ceremony.